Hi, welcome to the CFL News. We are going to join our reporters at the Iron Chef competition. Hi, I'm James. And I'm Peter, and we're here at Scoutcraft where the Iron Chef competition is just heating up. The competition is where you have one hour to create three dishes off of the secret ingredient. This year's secret ingredient is... All right, so uh, could you explain a little about the contest for us? Yoo-hoo. Uh, the contest is about a TV show called the Iron Chef America. And uh, we get an hour to uh, cook three dishes, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. And we get a secret ingredient. What is the secret ingredient? This year, uh, it's... What was it last year, do you know? Okay, and um, could you give us some of the ingredients that you that they gave you to work uh, they with? They gave us celery, green pepper, onions, raisins, different types of spices, uh, beef, of course, and other stuff. And could you tell us? Could you tell us about one of your dishes? I made. Uh, Stir fry with onions, celery, uh, uh, green peppers, a little oil, and some beef. Think you're gonna win? I have no idea. This is my first year. All right, thanks, dude. Okay, so did you get forced to uh, host this or did you volunteer? Oh, I volunteered. I love working here. Right. Iron Chef is a lot of fun. Have you ever been in an Iron Chef contest like this before at camp? No. I didn't know about the Iron Chef until I started staffing here, which was last year. So you are, you're a Boy Scout? Yes. I'm Have only you, 16. Did right. you go to this camp when you were little? Yes. Did they hope the Iron Chef thing then? Um, if they did, I didn't know about it. So, um... Where did you guys get your materials for the food that you gave them? All from the commissary. So we what made you decide these things? So did you just ask them for a random pile or did you ask them yeah, for specific items? Yeah, just random things that they can make food out of. Uh, Where is the commissary again? Commissary is right next to the And uh, what made you choose an hour of time? Do you think that's too much or too little? Um, an hour, you know, so we have enough time for cleanup. And an hour, you know, it should be enough time for them to get all their food cooked and everything prepared. All right, so have you seen any dishes that you are taking a particular liking to? Um, I haven't really seen much, but I've seen some meat being cooked, which is always a favorite. Meat's good. Um, a couple soups and a stir fry that looked good. It was like, yeah, some stir fry stuff, like rice. All right, so enough. Hi, I'm Zach Christensen in your sports arena. Everything sports. I'm here in the foosball arena. Oh wait, just a shin. If you get hit in the foosball, watch out for those foosballs. They're flying all over. Uh, like, I, like I was saying, watch out for those foosballs. They're really flying around here. Uh, okay, that hurt. Okay, watch out for those foosballs, really. That's, that, that's gonna hurt. Uh, this just in. Two's gonna give you a...
Cox and three will kill you. It's hot out. Is this weather rock? Ow! Burn! Back to you, Tim. Hey, this is Todd, and we are signing off here at CFL News. Have a great day. See ya. I love CFL, don't you? I know, this is like the, best, the best game ever. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're still live. Oh my gosh!